Hello everybody, I'm Evan Lola here with another episode or YouTube video, sorry for the finger, uh, with this. I'm here to review a steel cage. I got this a couple months ago. Sorry I didn't review it. Um, this was actually 24 bucks at Kmart. Kmart, I, I'm surprised. I live in Ephrata and Kmart, Kmart and Ephrata had this. They had... had they, they didn't restock action figures though for a while, so I wouldn't go there for a, rev for a figure. I would go to Target and Lidditz. That place, I got my road dog, Jesse James. I got Sweet Tea and Bruce Clay, and I got a lot of other figures there. But the, the good thing about Kmart, the good thing about Kmart is they actually sell cheap basic figures. They're not 10 bucks or 6.99, and it's fairly che uh, cheap, though, but that, Kmart's where I got my Miz, my Elite Miz, and my Elite Randy Orton, here, I'll set him up for you, where are you, Miz, there's, there's Randy Orton, and here's Miz, um, yeah, that, that's actually pretty good, I, I, I honestly like that idea, sorry, I just had to turn on the light so you can see, um, yeah, yeah, uh, another good thing, why I like, uh, uh, what, 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 Target better, was that actually cheap, too, I mean, they, they, they are good, and I actually got my, uh, if you're wondering how, how, or how I got my, uh, Unlimited Warrior, was I couldn't find them in stores, Basic Series 26, 27, um, uh, no, no, uh, Elite Series 27, or 20, 27, or 26, I forget, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, yeah, I got that at WrestlingFigures.com, a.k.a. Uh, Ringside Collectibles. Uh, I got my Santino Morella at Target. And I got my, actually, Banana Ray Mysterio, my Chinese Ray Mysterio, at oh, Kmart. What do you expect from Kmart? I got this, my Paul Heyman, at Walmart. Walmart sells okay figures, I guess. That's how I got my Rock and John Cena with the WWE uh, the new, new, newest jump WWE Championship at, uh, uh, yeah, the up two at Walmart. And, um, I got Steel Cage at Kmart, surprisingly, 24 bucks. It's cheap, sorry if I'm repeating myself. Back to the cage. It has these doors pop open. And let's just spin it around here. Now look. That, that's really awesome. That's a really awesome feature, so you can throw your figures up against here, and it just pops out. But that's a way for a figure to win, like, to escape in the cage, I guess. So, yeah, that bounce back in. That, that actually happens in two spots. It happens all the way back here, too. So that, it, I, don't worry, I'm not breaking my thing, though. But you, it is kind of hard to assemble. It is, but I got through it, so that means you can get through it. Uh, the door is already attached to it. I mean, it's kind of rough for me to hit, put my hands on here, in here, kind of rough, like, to move and control the figures. That's kind of the lame thing about it, but I like it. But it's awesome. Uh, I know the this for the matted, like, the $74 not scale ring, but whatever they call it, the real biggest, the bigger rings, the kind of, like, real-life rings. It's like 74 bucks, and you had to you had to buy a lot of accessories with it. This in order for it. I mean, I if I know if you're gonna buy a steel cage for that matted ring, it's gonna cost a lot of money. So this only costs 20 bucks for a scale ring, so that's why I bought this. I don't have a matted ring, but I kind of look for one cheaper than 74 bucks. I mean, if I have to buy it for 74 bucks, then I will. But I'm just still looking around. Uh. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, about this. About this. Um, the cool thing about this is. Uh, wait, I still don't want to my tongue. Yeah, that's it. Th this. The top part. It, it's actually realistic. You can put figures up like this. You take your elite, elite ones, and you have them like that. But if you take a basic, basic like uh, I'll take Chris Masters, my elite eight or nine i mean my no my basic series nine or eight look just bends his legs 
bends his legs like this. It bends his legs. This screws out the figure. That's why I like elites better. Um, and Jax, Jax, and look, look at that. The, the, the legs don't even want to bend. Look. <laughs> oh, it doesn't want to blow up. Oh. Watch this. See that? I just touched it with my finger and it blew over. Look at that. Can you even see inside that ring with this camera? You can't partially, can you? Look at that. Look look at Jesse laid out. Oh my god. A brutal attack by Evan's finger. Really? 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 Sorry, miss. Um, I got this. I got this, uh... Sorry, this is out of the ordinary, but I got this Ringside Collectibles a magazine for wrestlers. You can only get this if you buy a figure online from Wrestling Figures Ringside Collectibles. I have Road Dog, I have Jack Swagger, I have Mark Henry, I have Ultimate Warrior, I have I did have Big E and I want Roman Reigns. But the only reason why I want Roman Reigns, the only ha only how I, the only the only reason why I'm gonna buy the Shield at one time, that's it. I'm not I'm not gonna buy it one at a time. It's kind of shitty. I want to buy them all at one time. The only reason why I'm buying the shield is, well, they're Hounds of Justice. Come on. Get with the program. I know, I know, you're looking at it, I see. Well, anyway, that's it for this episode. Scale ring. Yes, I love this. Bye, everyone. Stay truth.